Hey guys, it's Sad Crow Man. I decided to quit drinking and also caffeine at the same time because I hate myself and because money. Buttsby has joined us today. I am on day two. Day one was spent mostly watching Hell of a Boss and feeling agony and trying to clean. Day two, I am very irritable. And the sweats. Ugh. The sweats started last night though. I considered going to the store to just pick up maybe like one can of coke you know at like a gas station or something but i can't deal with people right now and also i really hate looking at myself in this viewfinder because i still don't have a top lip i, I got my top lip deleted at the uh medi spa because my filler was pillowing weird now i just have a deflated a weirdly shaped deflated top lip because I can't afford to get it refilled. <laughs> I'm trying to get a handle back on my life. I decided I was going to replace drinking and caffeine, mostly caffeine, honestly, that's the that's the worst part. Because I've been I've been overdoing it with the alcohol for a couple months now. I've been doing overdoing it with caffeine since I was a teenager. I am 30. Like when I was a teenager, you know, anorexia, so instead of eating food, I would drink Diet Coke. Coke Zero, actually. And oh my god, I feel completely dead. I have no energy, I have no willpower, and I want to choke the shit out of everyone. Buttsby. Buttsby, what did I just say? You're really f***ing with me right now. Buttsby, stop knocking stuff over! He's a cat. He's gonna keep knocking stuff over. I don't know why I even suggested it to him. I tried to do yoga. It did not go well. There is not enough space in my room to do yoga because I am converting it, or started converting it anyway, into like a micro studio, or at least that's what I'm calling it. Basically, it's I'm tired of not having an apartment of my own, so I decided to turn my room into a miniature studio apartment, basically. And I also took over the upstairs bathroom as my territory. So that way I can at least isolate myself from everyone who pisses me off, usually. My father attempted to interact with me today. It was a bad decision on his part. He's, he, he just yelled up the stairs, Dead name, are you alive? I was not happy. I started screaming at him. He called me a wet noodle. I spent the rest of the morning raging. Actually, it was probably like 4 p.m. I don't keep track of time anymore. F*** time. I am running out of water, which is a big deal for me because I live in Appalachia where the faucet water is completely undrinkable. Like, it has all sorts of nasty sh** in it, so... I'm going to have to go out in public whether I like it or not. I might break down and get a soda because I am not considering this a linear cold turkey journey. There is no plan to quit drinking for a month, either substance. If I do this and then by the end of it I decide to be a drunk asshole again, do not be surprised. We are taking life as it comes. I do not have enough brain power for plans. This room is a little too pastel for my taste. I might go back to my room. The reason I was in her room is because my room is cloaked in darkness. I like it this way. But it's not good for filming. Oh, it's also very messy. I'm working on it. Work in progress. To put things in perspective, this is where I tried to do yoga. Don't look too closely at it because it's messy, but this is my kitchen bedroom. Uh, and that light does not work because I got drunk and uh, I accidentally hit it with my ukulele and it kind of knocked it loose a bit. I mean, it's it's brighter than ever. It burns brighter than ever, but I also smell like this smoky smell when I turn it on, so no light today. Except for this one, which I temporarily put on the kitchenette. So, uh, what have we today? We're making soup, that's right. That's all I make, actually, is soup. No, we don't we don't need this in here. We don't we don't need this in there. I use cans because I'm depressed and lazy. Uh, I gotta get my stock out. God, go faster. Oh no, I, I squirted and made a mess. F or I can't do this anymore. Should have just done that to begin with. My fridge is not organized, no. 
Now I'm gonna put in some chili flakes, yay. Chili powder. God, I am sick of sweating. And now, lid, we're done, we're done. I don't wanna do any more. Put it on high for like five hours and hopefully I will not get hungry before that. I'm watching a Harry Potter video and eating soup. Focus camera. You don't wanna focus, do you? Soup. No. This is not a good filming location. I look like crap. Oh, I, oh, I, I just look like crap everywhere. Okay, day three. I have woken up with swollen puffy eyes. No thanks to this little bitch right here. I fell asleep with both of my beautiful angel cats and then they woke me up because they decided to fucking claw the shit out of each other. I have not been able to get back to sleep. I woke up in a cry mood. Now I'm pissed off again. I haven't thought about beer much or any liquor, but I would actually choke the shit out of somebody for a can of like any kind of caffeinated beverage. It's on the lap now. Yes, did you start another fight with Buttsby knock knock? We all know you started another fight with Buttsby. It's okay. You little sh now anyway, uh, I don't know what else to say other than I really thought the thing that was gonna be hard to quit was going to be the alcohol, not the Coke Zero. Oh, also, I looked up the caffeine withdrawal symptoms. Yeah, I, I have like all of them except one. I don't remember what the one was. God, I miss having a top lip. And like you can see these little injection sites or something and they just look kind of weird. Like I think it's scar tissue. I'm not a fan. I really miss my top lip. Buy my merch so I can buy a top lip. Let's see, one, headaches. Yes. Uh, two, sleepiness. Yes. Irritability. <laughs> no. Lethargy. Yes. Constipation. Yes. Depression. Yes. Muscle pain, stiffness, cramping. Yes. Lack of concentration. That's just, I, I can never concentrate. Flu-like symptoms like stuffy nose, black sinuses, uh, sinus pressure. I kind of usually do though because I live in a really dusty house and I have a level 4 dust allergy and it's a really dirty house because my dad's a hoarder. Insomnia. Strangely enough, yes. Even though I am very, very tired, I cannot sleep. God, I miss my top lip. I need to stop looking at myself. I'll look into the camera lens instead. Uh, nausea and vomiting. Uh, not the vomiting, but the nausea. Yes. Anxiety. I mean, I literally have PTSD or CPTSD or something. Never was clear on which one because CPTSD is more of a shame response, which I have, and PTSD is more of a startle response, which I also have. Of course, I guess you can technically have both. I looked it up. They said you could have both, but I don't want both. That's crazy. Okay, 13. Brain fog. Yeah, I've been having that for a while though, so... But yeah, it says withdrawal can cause some people to experience brain fog, which is described as the difficulty of having coherent thoughts, difficulty thinking, and the difficulty of doing common tasks. I've had that problem for a while now, since PTSD. It's, it's definitely worse now. I don't think I've been able to do anything productive in the past... How long has it been? 72 hours or whatever. 14, dizziness. Uh, yeah, that's the one I definitely don't have. And 15 is heart rhythm abnormalities. Yeah, I've had that. But hey, at least I'm not drinking because I'm too busy thinking about how badly I want a fucking Coke Zero. <laughs> I can't believe caffeine is the thing I can't quit. <laughs> alcohol, I thought alcohol was so much more addictive. Since I said I'd show off my merch, uh, this is the sweatshirt. I also have this one in a t-shirt, but it's going to get cold in America soon, so I figured I'd show off the sweatshirt. Uh, it's cute, and uh, cat hair warning, I have cats, and they got- it's- this is right by the cat tree, so of course they got their hair all over it. But like, it's uh, on the sleeves, we have her name. It's basically just uh, probably not the best translation 
of the title of the book in Greek and then Eredi's full name also in Greek. Uh, the design ended up being a lot closer to the bottom than I wanted it to be because I wanted to turn this into a crop top actually. Um, but I still have an idea for it. I'm thinking about doing a video later when I'm feeling less pissed at the world and everything and have a space. Kind of crop it right here. Then I can turn her little signature into a patch and put that on my jacket. This shirt is dirty, but I don't care. We don't run a professional operation here. I slept in this. Uh, yeah, this is the most popular shirt in my store, and here I am. I'm like, oh, yeah, here, here, here's what it looks like when it's f***ing dirty and covered in cat hair, lying on my bathroom floor for days. It's a good shirt if you want to piss off your religious folks. And this one's probably my personal favorite, but it has a light pattern, so it's not going to be like an extremely obvious shirt. So yeah, cry for the devil. Is love enough when he's the cactus guy? God, my voice is raspy. You see, I thought it was because of the drinking that my voice was raspy. But no, apparently that's just how it is. Well, I am out of water, so even though I really, really don't want to people right now at the local dollar store that I probably shouldn't say the name of and uh, buy some water, maybe some food, and uh, hopefully I will not buy a Coke. Okay, so uh, I bought it, but I, I'm, just, I'm just thinking about it, okay? It is 5.45 a.m. I am angry and tired, but I cannot sleep. I fed my cats and sung Phantom of the Opera to them. I don't think they liked it. Kind of a weird thing to say. I'm watching Corpse Bride. I looked it up. Apparently, this insomnia could last for up to two weeks. I guess technically I'm on day four now. I'd just really like to sleep for longer than like an hour. That would be really nice. I think I'm dying of sleep deprivation. The coke in that fridge is looking really good right now. But I don't want to prolong this either. But I'm thinking maybe if I dose myself with it, like... <laughs> slowly, it will ease the symptoms, maybe. Uh, I don't... Oh my god. I can't handle life right now. Kill me, please. When I was a young boy, my father took me into the city to see a mud. I haven't had more than like a couple hours sleep over the past four days, I think. Maybe three days. I don't. Uh, f the days, man. Days. I don't count days anymore. What I want to know is how many days until I die. How about that? This is day four, man. We're, we're approaching day four. And I've been awake since day two. Pretty sure. Other than like a couple hours. But then my cats woke me up by fighting because they're assholes. I mean, that's what I expect though. I mean, I, I never would expect a cat to not be an asshole. That's what cats are here for. But do they have to start a civil war in my beanbag chair? You know, I bet it'd be easier to sleep if I had a bed. But where the f*** would I put a bed? You know what? To the fridge. I'm in my bedroom kitchen right now as we speak, as a matter of fact. We're gonna try this because I do not think sleep will come. It, I, it's, it's just not gonna come. Oh my god, this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Smell it. I have no idea how much of this I should drink, but I'll try not to drink like the whole thing at least. You know, when I started this thing, I thought I'd be cracking open a beer can by the end of day two. This to about halfway, and then tomorrow I'll drink half of that half and I'll keep doing half of the half until I finally die. The goblin area of my brain feels a little bit better. You know, the, the sinful little devil in me, I guess, but uh, the uh... The brain chemicals aren't quite hitting yet. As for when I'll be able to sleep finally, I suspect about six hours from now, maybe. Uh, yeah, uh, the, I did not fall asleep after six hours like I thought I would. I fell asleep. I slept for like ten hours, let's just put it that way. After I drank the caffeine, like, after an hour I'd say, I was knocked out. But it wasn't the most restful sleep. Because I woke up with like extreme nausea, but... I mean, not really the worst nausea I've ever had, actually. It just 
felt like it came out of nowhere. Still have no interest in alcohol. I I'm sorry, I cannot get over this fucking plot twist. I did not realize a caffeine withdrawal could be this big of a deal, but then again, I used to drink quite a bit of caffeine, so... I kind of self-medicated my ADHD with it, so... Yeah, um... I've gotten some of my focus back, though, that I lost, uh, so that's good. Well, I'm trying to work, but I can't focus, and I'm starting to wonder if maybe, uh, maybe... Quitting caffeine isn't even worth it because is it really worth it to completely cut it all out? Is it really worth it? Is it really worth it? Cheers to giving up. One more swig and then I'll put the rest away. Down to the kitchen bedroom. I really hate myself right now. <laughs> I'm not sure how much longer I can tolerate like living life raw like this uh i don't i don't think i could do this anymore <laughs> what day are we on four still technically i mean i blank out when i start recording but my god i am so f***ing irritable and of course i take all my emotions and i like internalize them so <sighs> I am screaming inside. Why am I even doing this? I'm starting to wonder why I'm even doing this. It's just caffeine. How bad can it be? Okay. I'm gonna go back to doing what I was doing, which was... Trying to decide what the f*** I wanna draw. This could take hours. Uh, it's day five now, apparently. I stayed up all night drawing. <laughs> Well, guess it's time for bed now, uh, bedtime. What day are we on, day five? Well, uh, this looks much better in real life, I assure you. <laughs> or, or on the, your computer screen. I've been working at it for a while. It looks like I forgot to add some shading by the tie. It is now 5.39 p.m. I might take a couple more swigs of that Coke. <sighs> it's raining. God must have known I wanted to go to the grocery store today. Maybe it's divine intervention to keep me from buying like a 24 pack of Coke and just carrying it back to my room. Okay, so let me just first say, if you don't believe me, I don't blame you, but um... I bought Domino's because I wanted pizza, and since I'm not quitting pizza cold turkey, I thought it'd be fine. But also, I've been having a hard time. <laughs> with the no caffeine. So I wanted to buy a 16 ounce Diet Coke. Diet Coke isn't really my thing. I prefer Coke Zero. So I figured, you know what? Fine, fine. I probably won't touch it that much because it, I, it's not my thing, but I, I think I accidentally bought a two liter. I thought 275 after I applied the coupon was a little much. Oh yeah, I had a coupon for it. Oh. Yep, yep, this, this is definitely a two liter, uh... I'm going to drink this. I'm, I'm going to drink this. I'm not even sorry, I'm going to drink this. Ah! Get. Tastes like failure. 6.45 a.m. approximately. Unfortunately, sleep is not coming, but I recorded some, uh, I guess, test recordings or demos of whatever of two of the songs I wrote, so... Woo! So, what have we learned today? One, I'm a failure. Two, I don't have nearly as much shame as I should have, considering. Three, Melanie Martinez should make more merch that is black. This is her tour shirt, I dyed it. I'm standing on plastic, that's what that noise is. And, uh, oh yeah, five, main moral of the story, maybe quitting one thing at a time is enough. Maybe don't quit everything cold turkey at once or you will not have a very fun time. You might also lose all will to live somewhere along the process. But luckily for me, it's caffeine and not like the other kind of coke. 
So by all means, probably not not as bad. Though the withdrawals were not fun. Uh, as for alcohol, uh, I mean I could use a drink right now, but eh, I don't really want one. Besides, then I'd have to go to the store. Do I look dressed for the store? I'm not even wearing pants right now. I'm not gonna put on pants either. I have no interest in pants. And public means pants. Except for that one time when I was in college, uh, I, I accidentally walked outside in my boxer shorts because I was like on my period or right before it or something and I had this random craving for chocolate but all the vending machines were out so I was like oh and then I go to the gas station and I get to the gas station and I realize I'm not wearing pants I'm in my boxer shorts nobody stopped me my whole way to the gas station nobody's like hey uh, you're wearing boxer shorts right now where are your pants and I'm just there in public in my boxer shorts <laughs>